Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting the debut full length from Anthropophagus Death Fuge on Head Split Records. I hope I said the title correctly. Depraved, gross, death fucking metal. I've been following Anthropophagus since Spoiled Marrow, and this is just absolutely top fucking shelf death metal. Like, I really fucking love this stuff. I'm trying to look real quick, it's hard. I should have got it set up in advance, here we go. Fuck fell out of my hands. I'm trying to find the second demo. Here it is. Postnatal abortion was demo number two. Two tracks of just, again, sickening death metal. I have the seven inch also of Spoiled Marrow, which had four tracks of awesome. All on Head Split Records. Blood Harvest did the 7 inch. I, again, I can't get it right now. But I always liked how the lyrics on the cassette for the title Anthropophagus has unintelligible gibberish for the lyrics. But the actual lyrics are written in the Blood Harvest 7 inch. So it's kind of cool. Like, and that comes on like hot pink vinyl, it's fucking sick. But from the moment I first heard Anthropophagus, it just instantly was like, whoa, like, this band's really fucking cool, like I like what they're doing. And I just kept my eyes on them and watched them grow in popularity. And uh, I really feel like me and uh, Florida John, aka John Randall, I really feel like we're like huge Anthropophagus fans. Like, he got the CD and shit like early just so he could get a copy. Like, he was real stoked. Like, and same with myself. Like, because uh, he doesn't have Instagram or anything. So I would kind of fill him in. Like, yo, Head Splits putting up like, you know, this and whatnot and yeah fucking a thank you pet for throwing this to the channel and thank you disguster 666 at head split records as always you're the fucking man but this is like just legitimately absolutely sickening heavy depraved death metal and, you know, when your last release is postnatal abortion, you know what you're getting into with a band like Anthropophagus, who's also named after one of the gnarliest video nasties ever. Anthropophagus. It's spelled a little differently, but that's all... Luigi Montefiore, folks, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, pretty much, um, in Anthropophagus, there is a scene where, well, a fetus gets eaten, and then the final scene, spoilers... When he eats his own guts, man, it doesn't get much better than that. And if you've ever seen Anthropophagus, then you know Death Fuge is like the perfect companion piece for such a filthy fucking movie. Although, again, the title is spelled differently than the film. Anthropophagus are one of those bands, like, to me, they, this is, you know, so fucking good. There's no laziness either, like, we have True Heresy, Lead Casket, Death Fuge, 
on Black Wing and Foul Wind, Escapism, Pile Them Up, Ransackers of the Temple, and I Wield the Flame of Chaos. Trust me, this is top shelf. sickening display of total death and look at that tape shell also head split did not fuck around here because again like i said if you knew that this was coming you were very very hyped this is up there with the new morbific it's up there with fucking the new phantasmagore ep it's one of the best death metal re releases of 2021. And there's no denying that, like, in my personal opinion. And I'm not being biased because I have been a fan since I first heard this band. But sometimes that leads to the opposite. I just noticed the fucking really badass cosmetics on both sides of the tape. I thought they were the same, but they're not. That's fucking rad. Headsfoot has been killing it this year. Like, I love the new Morbific record. I heard it might be getting a 12-inch release, which would be amazing. Same with this. I really, really hope stateside somebody gives these two a fucking 12-inch of this because it fucking deserves it. And uh, that's Shane Dupi. On guitar, bass, and vocals. And Steve Kaminsky on drums. And this was just recorded in their fucking practice space. And I think it sounds fan-fucking-tastic. Because that's the way death metal's meant to sound. Not overproduced. Not... It, like... It, it's fucking... It, it, it's so organic. In the best way. Because sometimes you might go for that organic sound and end up with a mess on your hands when it comes time to mix and master. What you thought was like something that was dialed, when it comes down to it, it might have sounded dialed in your head, but like your drummer might have been off time. And recording live, like it, it's an art, it's tricky. And. I'll tell you one thing, though, I would much rather record live than when I'm in the fucking, like, vocal booth, and I've already been in the studio for, like, nine hours, and I, I know how much money this is costing, and, like, I can't nail this, like, vocal part. That's when you, it's not, it's not even fun. Like, you start getting stressed out. And that's why I really, I like DIY recording on a personal level. And I'm guessing Anthropophagus fucking like it too. And they like the way it sounds on cassette also. Because, holy fuck. Like, our new bass player, um, he was showing us some of his noise uh, projects that are only released, like, on cassette through, like, him and a few friends, and it was so good. And uh, he was just like, yeah, I just set a tape recorder, like, up in the middle of the room, and yeah, like, this is how it turned out. And it sounds fucking so sick and like i know that's kind of like old school basement black metal like that's how you would record your demo like 
I recorded my old band's first demo off of a video camera. When I uploaded the footage on my computer, I just filmed a band practice, got rid of the video, kept the audio, and messed with the levels a little bit, converted the audio into MP3s, and burned CDs, and there was our demo. For free. Like, it just took me, uh, we, we had to buy blank CDs. But that helped pay for our debut that really helped us take off at the time. It's kind of the same that happened with the Cursed Womb and our promo tape. We didn't know that was gonna, you know, blow up like that. And Life After Death right now has copies of uh, Hymns of Misery and Death by Cursed Womb, if you're interested. Um, I know I was hurt yesterday. I still am healing up a little bit today. But I really want to thank Terrapin, uh, Cherry Diesel. This is an Indica strain. Yo, like right before I made this, I hit up Mr. Popsicle. It's empty, I'm sorry folks. And my bud's downstairs. See, you gotta have a separate jar. But uh, this company cared enough that they are... It came with a humidifier inside of it. So, fucking hails to ter uh, Terrapin and whoever came up with the genetics for Cherry Diesel. I feel like you made that strain for me. Like, because it's really, really good as a pain reliever. Like, the fact that I can lean forward right now. And it's not really hurting. That's awesome. Like, for real. That's awesome. And Death Fuge by Anthropophagus. This is so hard not to headbang to. But, like, every song on here, in my personal opinion, is pure death metal fire. Definitely a big, big Anthropophagus fan. Death Fuge is just a fucking gem right here. And if you've never heard of Anthropophagus, you have yourself the Spoiled Marrow EP. And you have Postnatal Abortion to catch up to Death Fuge. All three on Head Split Records, but the 7-inch for Spoiled Marrow is on Blood Harvest. This is grade A, fucking 9.75, death metal. If you like that more organic sounding death metal, like, that's the way to fucking go. Like, 120%. If you're sick of that, like, death metal that you can tell was just tinkered with to death on Pro Tools, and, like, you get the really loud vocals and the really loud drums and it just kind of makes, I, I don't know, I know it's a very popular like sound right now in the death metal community and some sometimes it works but other times I'm like, dude, this sounds like a mess, like come on, but if you like it, you like it, so at the end of the day it doesn't really matter, but when it comes to Anthropophagus, Death Fuge, I mean, if you like death metal, I don't know how you wouldn't, like, love this record. It's just one of those, like, holy shit, did you hear that riff? Like, did you hear that vocal pattern? Did you hear that, like, it's one of those, those albums where it's like, yo, did you fucking hear that shit? Like, I remember, I'm, when I play Morbific, for my buddy, like, he was, like, blown away, like, he's like, yo, I never heard of this band, I was like, yeah, like, like, they just put out this full length, but check out their demo also, and I threw, like, I let him hear their demo, and he just, yeah, he became a fan, and I kind of, uh, like, they're very different, but at the same time, they kind of do have similar vibes, 
And what I mean by that is they play gross death metal that's organic. Anthropophagus and also on Head Split Records. Morbific, ominous seep of putridity. Two of the best death metal albums of the year right here. Fuck yeah. Head Split Records. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you again, Pat, for making this video possible. And I do apologize yesterday. I, I, I really, I, I was worried. I, I re-injured myself yesterday, but it does feel a bit better today. But still, I have to be careful. So I do appreciate, you know, the fact that you folks even watched that little, like, apology video yesterday because I just, I couldn't do it. There was no way I could sit in this chair. Like, I would have had to have been sitting there like this. Hey, God. I, I didn't want, I, I, and I know that's kind of what I gave you folks yesterday, but I apologize. But I have a broken neck. I'm not trying to use it as an excuse, but I'm doing my best here, folks. So, I just appreciate the fact that you're watching this. It means a lot. If you do want to support a little bit more, we do have a Patreon. I, I just, I know it's like online begging, but hey, like we have a tripod. And it, you know how much easier this makes my life when it comes to making these videos? like with this injury and it's gonna be like you know six more weeks i know that's not that long but i went head first into that thing yesterday i really hope i didn't fuck anything back up like I, i've been kind of stressing i'm sorry that i'm like rambling on that's one of the things that uh this cherry diesel is very good at you just start, like, talking, and I don't know. It makes your anxiety completely go away. But I really like it for its pain relief. Like, it really, really, like, like I, I feel pretty good right now, like, physically. Even though, you know, I'm pretty much proper fucked, like, I feel good. Like, I'm glad, like, my bruises are healing up here. I don't know if you folks saw those earlier in the week. They were pretty bad, actually. And I, I still don't know how I was getting them. It had to have had something to do with, like, this putting too much pressure on my shoulder. I, I don't know. I was just waking up with these, like, really, like, gnarly brush burn looking bruises. But they're not there right now. So that's good. But like I was saying, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Listen to Anthropophagus, Death Fuge, and let me know how fucking sick it is. Sorry I can't include a barf bag with this video. Thanks for watching, as always, you fucking rule.